Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And, oh my god, they're bringing Civ 6 to the Xbox the 22nd of November 2019. That's like, what, two months away now? Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. So three months ago, I made a video titled, Please Bring Civ 6 to Xbox. Now, ever since Civilization 6 has come out, I've wanted it on the Xbox. Right, that came out like three years ago. And so this is big, 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 big news. So today, I want to talk about some things that I hope are part of the Xbox experience. And I think things that would make it a lot better. So the first one is, I really hope there's mouse and keyboard support. Because it's Civilization, like it's a mouse and keyboard game. You know, it fits really well. And with how complex Civ VI can be, I think as someone who's played it on the computer... It would, it would be like twice as hard to learn it on Xbox instead of just hook up mouse and keyboard and do it that way. You know, but with that being said, I really hope that this game controls well. I think whether or not this game controls well would be the death or not of this game, whether it survives. Because, I mean, it's got to control well. Civilization Revolution did an absolutely amazing job. Like, if they just took... The control scheme of Civ Rev, maybe change it around a little bit, and put it in Civ 6, I think the game will do really, 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 really good. And with that, I think part of it is whenever you play one of these games, you guys ever notice how when you zoom out, you can move around the map faster? I think because that is an easy way to control the game, I think you should be able to zoom out really, really, really far. So that way you can move your cursor around the map really fast. I hope that there is both dedicated servers and player servers. You know, I think player-based servers would be really nice because then there's that whole thing where you can play with a friend and save your game, right? Revolution on Xbox, you can do that. Civ 6, I mean, you get even two people in there. Like me and my friend Fuse, because that game is so much more complicated it takes us a long time to finish a game. I think one time we played it on an easy-ish difficulty, so there was really no challenge. It took us like eight or ten hours. Right? There's no way you're going to sit down and play a game for eight or ten hours unless you're a super nerd and have a lot of time. Or have the entire weekend planned out as like, I'm going to spend this whole day on Civ Six to finish a game. You know, so dedicated servers I think would be nice just so that if someone disconnects, it doesn't ruin the whole game. But I think being able to save, almost like save the game, and then load it up on a dedicated server, that would be really, really, really nice. Now, the DLC is coming as a separate purchase, which, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm fine with that. But I think that's a really smart move. The DLC in this game is, eh, it's okay. You know, it was really good at first, but I think just simply having the DLC on Xbox is really good. Like, because on Xbox, you know, when it comes to consoles, you don't mod them as much. Sorry about my kitten, but you don't mod them as much. So, having access to all those types of characters, all those ways to play the game, that's a really good compromise with, with these DLCs, is having those extra nations, just, just the extra nations, not to mention all the features and everything like that. But just the extra nations, man. Very good. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope there is a high player count. I know Revolution it was five. I hope that there is at least eight. Eight people would be really cool. Maybe 16. You know, I can see a massive, massive, like, 16-player thing. You know, and with how many people and how many different ways you can play this game and switching alliances and everything like that, I think that in game chat... Uh, this just goes right into the next thing. In game chat, there should be a way where you go into game chat whether it's typing as well as voice communication i really hope they do this with voice communication but i hope that when you're in game chat there is a way to make it so only certain people can hear you right because if you're allies with player a and enemies with player b and you want to talk about attacking player b you don't want player b to hear you so you know, instead of sending Xbox messages, which are really annoying to send, you know, you having to open them up all the time, it's going to slow the game down, you know, and I just think being able to voice chat and switch who can hear you and who can't 
would be an amazing tool to have, a really good tool, especially because it's console, right? Not everyone owns a keyboard that they want to hook up to their console. Not everyone owns a console keyboard that plugs into their controller, right? And, I mean, I'm on console. I don't want to read. I want to play my game on console, all right? I'm, I'm like that. And the final thing um, that I think really needs to happen is the game needs to run well. You know, I noticed a lot of good games coming out on the Xbox One that have not been running very well. I just kind of noticed that, you know, you got No Man's Sky, Stellaris in, in late game doesn't really run well. I'm really hoping Civ 6 runs well. Like, at least 30 FPS the entire time. 60 would be nice, but it's a console. Sorry, I have the hiccups. It's a console. You don't need 60 FPS on a console, especially when it comes to a strategy game, you know? So I think 30 FPS would be really good. And constant 30 FPS. And I don't think it's that hard, you know? Uh, with that being said, I still think they should include strategic view because I sometimes play the game on strategic view and I like strategic view sometimes. Because sometimes all the graphics in the game with like forests and stuff, even with hexagons on, it, it can, sometimes confuses me on what tiles are and things like that. So strategic view would just be nice for those who are used to playing on strategic view because if you're like me, uh, sometimes I play on my computer that I can play normal mode. Sometimes I have another computer that I play on that when it comes to gaming is a potato and I play on strategic view. And sometimes I'm feeling, I, I literally, the, when I play this game, sometimes I feel strategic view, sometimes I feel normal view, you know, it just depends. And when I start a game, like let's say I start a game in strategic view, I have to finish it in strategic. Like, it's just the way that it is. Sorry, my kitten's sitting in my lap. Look at her. You want to say hi? Say hello. She really doesn't like this. Hello. Okay. Whether or not they improve the AI in this game, I think because it's Xbox... I would say that I don't I don't see myself playing a lot of single player games on Xbox. I see myself cuz it's Xbox, right? I know I'm petting you because it's Xbox. I think if they build this game right where there's a special multiplayer mode just for Xbox, like 2 or 3 hours, right? A 2 or 3 hour match for the Xbox or maybe even an hour. Oh. Uh, I think that if they have a special mode for Xbox multiplayer that really caters to the console audience of getting in, get out of matches really, really fast, I think if they include that, I don't think first player AI is going to be a problem because I know for me, I, I definitely want that multiplayer experience in Civ. I never get that because I don't have the time to sit there, always reconnect to people. You know, always make sure, okay, everyone's online. We can put an hour into this game, you know. Sometimes, ah, you know, just getting in and out quick and not having to reconnect with people and plan stuff out with them is really convenient. You know, I would really like that in a, in Civ 6. Like, even just normal Civ 6. I don't think, I've never, well, I never played multiplayer enough to even know if that exists or not, you know. And then I think one little last thing is... If you play Hot Seat, make it so you got you don't have to pass the controller around. First of all, have a Hot Seat game. I don't think there's Hot Seat in Civilization Revolution. But make it so, you know, I have Player 1's controller. They have Player 2 controller. They have Player 3. They have Player 4. And then, I would almost say make it so every controller just works. Like, so that if you have 8 people, you can just kind of pass controllers around if you need to. You know, make sure no one's a jerk. But, like, making it so you don't have to pass one controller around would be really, 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 really convenient. You know? Or the mouse and keyboard, whatever you gotta do. So, uh, that's all my thoughts. It's kind of hard for me to express emotions right now because I'm a little tired. But I am really excited for Civilization VI to come out for consoles. I think this is a big step. I wanted Civ 5 on consoles, and they never brought it to consoles. <laughs> like, I'm excited because I am that friend that owns a PC game for gaming, and no one else owns a PC for gaming. 
And if they own a PC that's capable of gaming, they don't really game too much on it. So this... This is what I want for like me and my friends, or hopefully there's crossplay too. I didn't mention that. Crossplay would be really nice because I like my PC for my Civ games. Crossplay would be really nice. But even if there's not crossplay, just the simple fact that I can have it on an Xbox and play with all my friends who they we all still play Civilization Revolution to this day. Well, I mean, pretty soon we probably won't if Civ Six is really good. You know, because we all know, I mean, at this point, we all know the tech tree in and out, you know, that kind of stuff. But anyways, Civ Six. God, I hope this game does. I hope this game does really well on Xbox. I am so hopeful. Please, please, 2K, make it work. Make it work. Make it be amazing. All right. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. What do you want on the console version of Civ Six? Crossplay would be really nice. Like, it's not a necessary thing, but it kind of feels like a necessary thing. It kind of is a necessary thing, but not. You know, it's on that border. I would like that, because then I wouldn't have to buy Civ Six again. You know? It, it'd be really, really cool. So, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Uh, I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you all in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Instagram post. Whatever I said to make. <laughs>